So um, I'm gonna focus today on the pelvic. It's more of a personal video for me. I have injured many times my, my hip bones and my pelvic and I ripped muscle of the glutes and I dislocated my hip on the left side three times. And therefore I had to find out how do I survive and how do I continue to dance and or maybe even to walk because the pain was impossible. And I researched and I found the most simple exercises that Back then my physiotherapist gave me and just doing that exercises every day till it burns and it's really painful did help a lot. So I would be super happy to share with you. What is important here is the precision and not the amount of repetition you do. I know it can be very confusing. Sometimes you think we do more, it will be better. No, specifically in that series, you will see there's a few exercises coming one after another. And the idea is not to do the most you can, but the most precise and the most, and the best quality you can. Make. So first of all, the most important is how you stage yourself on the floor. So the right muscle would work really, really accurate. Okay. I'm laying down on my left side. I'm going to have my head on my hand. Now, the knees. Make sure the knees are not going too much further away from you or they are not too close to you. You want to get this 90 degrees angle between pelvic and knees. Think that you're sitting on a very straight chair, yeah? So your legs are not going front or not going back. Good. Now, I want you to place your hand, the right hand, on your right pelvic for a second and just press it a bit towards the wall or towards your heel. Don't let your pelvic drop here. We don't want the contraction of the stomach muscle here. We want it to be constantly elongated. Now, during the exercise, you will see me doing a few times, I'm putting the hand again if it crushed. So it's okay to remind yourself. Also, I feel it teaches the body as well. Anyway, the right hand is gonna be on the floor. We're going to breathe in from the nose. And when you're breathing out, you collect your center in that area and you're starting to float your leg up. I'm saying floating as if water came underneath it and you slowly lift it and you slowly take it down. Now you see what happened immediately to my foot. I try not to point or to flex it. I'm trying to really drop it. So actually we will use that weight of the foot to bring a bit of more work for the muscle of your glutes. Now, if you would be super accurate, you would immediately feel here the muscle is starting to engage, okay? We really want to focus on a, on a sort of engagement that happens around behind your buttocks, like next to your lower back, good. And now you see, while I'm talking with you, I'm also discoordinated, I'm, I'm again lifting the foot, try to really drop it, okay? It's also good practice on relaxing while you're working on something, okay? And then I think we are on the fifth one. And you see, I'm not also lifting it very high. It's quite low. And then we have the sixth one. I'm using my hand all the time firm on the floor, pushing. We continue to the next one. Don't stop. Feet are together. You open in the knee like a book. You really want to open it and slowly close it. But I want you to notice one thing really important. Do not fall backward with your pelvic. Maintain it as if you are against a wall right now. What I usually tell students and also I'm doing with myself, I put my hand here and I notice that I don't push my hand with the back. Now I know it started to get real here, real heat in the muscle and this is the idea. When you fall into the back, you start to work other muscle. We want to be isolating it and really to feel that muscle working on its own, okay? We have two more to go, if I counted it well. Usually we do six, six, six. Good. Now we're staying up here in the air. Again, I fixed myself because I just fell backward. Try to push yourself a bit front. Use this hand, you're gonna need it. Lift that leg off the floor in a turn out and try to turn it out when you lower it down. Don't let it go inside, yeah? Try to continue, take it up in the turn out and slowly, slowly go down. Again, put your hands here if you feel you're crashing backward. 
and take it in. You really want to have the heels facing towards the camera right now, as much as you can, of course. Good, guys. And we have two more to go. Again, I'm falling while I'm talking, so I will arrange myself. Good. It's okay, you see, I'm also exercising with you and I'm stabilizing myself through. Now we stay up in the air. This is the last one. You're going to have a slow ninja kick to the, to the ceiling and slowly try to really rotate it when you bend it again. Only three of these. Try to stretch and really turn it out and slowly relax it again. You see, I'm not pointing, I'm not flexing the foot because I want to focus here only. Good, now you stretch it and you bend it over, good. You're going to stretch it down underneath you. You're going to flex the foot now. You're gonna bring the leg in front of you and slowly, slowly, you're gonna take it to the back and if possible with the coordination, point your foot. Then again, bring it to the front, good. Now you will notice your leg might go front and back a bit up and down and up and down. That means your center is not engaged. So this is actually good that it happens. It gives you a feedback. Breathe out, collect your center up here so the leg would come into the joint. Don't lift your joints, yeah? Push the hand if you need. Breathe in, point your foot, take it to the back. Don't pull yourself to the front. Try to stay on your alignment. And then again, breathe out, collect your center. Don't lift your pelvic. Try to maintain it out of your body. And then one last time, point the foot to the back and come up. If you don't feel a lot, you can now do four times lifting and dropping and then lifting and dropping. You see my hand here because I don't want again the pelvic to come inside. I want to constantly feel the length of the movement. Good. And one last time, take it up and slowly take it down nice we go immediately to the other side so i'm just again staging myself on the floor head, head on your right hand again knees not too close not too far perfect 90 degrees your hand if you will need it on your pelvic if not in the exercise it should be on the floor now you would feel harder to do that side because the other side is already tired which is all good eh? So, breathing in from the nose, breathing out, floating the leg up, really relaxing the foot, and slowly, slowly take it down. Good. Nice. Engaging the center all the time, breathing out, lifting the leg, and slowly lower it down. Nice, guys. Breathing in. Good. And breathing out. Stay with it even if it's burning. I'm also feeling the heat in the muscle and I'm still smiling in order to make through this video. But it is, the pain is real and it's okay, accept it. This is how we unfortunately sometimes need to make the body stronger. Good. And I think we are on the two, last two. Lifting and again, you can see my foot. I'm doing my best to talk, coordinate, exercise and release it. It's okay if you don't succeed on the first time. Good. And now again, we're doing opening the book. Trying to open the pelvic without falling to the back and slowly close it. Now, this is my injury hip. You, if you would see, the movement is less smooth here and my leg is a little bit shaky. This is because of the injury and that's what I'm doing this exercise all the time to train it so I have sort of a smooth energy and it doesn't get stuck. You see, I also have less movement here. On the other side, I could open the knee a little bit more. Try to continue the breath in and out and rotate. Good. Two more to go. I'm also burning here. Make sure you're not falling to the back, yeah? One last time, we stay out. Stay out with the leg. Use the floor as much as possible to push and lift this leg in a turn out and try to rotate it even more. So it's not about lifting and lowering. This is quite easy to do. Try to rotate in your hip joint, your leg. So it's not being lifted, it's being rotated to be lifted. Good, stay up, we have this three slow ninja kick. You're trying to rotate the leg and bend it and try to rotate it even more. Don't let it close, guys. Two more, try to stretch it, no point, no flex. Remember, not leaning to the back, yeah? 
Try to push it to the front. Last time. Take it. Good. And we take it all the way underneath us. Then again, you breathe in and you breathe out. Remember what we said here. Collect the center around your hip bone. Bring the leg to the front in flex, really strong flex. And breathe in. Take the leg in point. You will see here also my leg is rocking much more because of my injury. Good. It's much hard for me to control it, but I'm trying my best all the time with the center. I'm really collecting here the stomach. I'm using also the hands when I'm not talking and showing the exercise. And I'm trying to constantly elongate the body. Now the flex will give you the sense of press out. It will give you a sense of alignment. And the point you could really feel how you pull in the leg behind you. Guys, one last time to the front. Make it strong in your toes, in your flex. The leg might travel less up and down. And slowly take it again to the back. We have four times we're lifting. Breathe out and breathe in. Feel that length every time. Breathe out. And you see I'm all the time talking to you and putting the hand here because I don't want it to crash. Especially in my injured leg. I do want to get this length through the exercising all the time. Good. One last time. You lift it out. Good. And slowly, slowly go down. Good. Now you, you can relax it slowly, slowly. So um, if you're not sure about the breathing in and out, I will totally recommend you to check out Darius's video about breathing. It's on episode one. So I think it could be very beneficial if you check out this video and then try to incorporate it in our classes or on the home videos we upload here. Remember that breathing is one of the most important uh, elements within exercising. Whatever you do, yoga, pilates, gym. So I think it's really good to put the point on it and check out the video, episode one about breathing. Thank you and big hugs to everybody from Berlin.